Yo guys, Dion here. Welcome back to another video. iOS 13 Beta 3 was released today alongside iPadOS Beta 3. iPadOS Beta 3 did not have a lot of changes. The changes were mainly with the iPhone. But since iPadOS is based on the same foundation that iOS is built on, you're going to see a lot of these changes on the iPad. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you update to iOS 13 Beta 3 is that this new operating system is buggy. It's buggier than Beta 2. In fact, iOS 13 Beta 3 was so buggy, I actually had to take down my original review because I said in that review that it included smoother performance. That was all a lie. That was just a placebo effect and it did not last for that long. So here's what's really going on in iOS 13 Beta 3. I found some more changes, so i like to go over them with you. Just to confirm that I'm on iOS 13, I'd like to show you guys the build number. In iOS 13 Beta 2, it ended in a letter M. In this version, it ends in the letter F. You guys can go ahead and pause the video. Before I move on, if you're on an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 7 Plus, you're not going to see the update on your iPhone right now. This is another reason why some of you should hold off from iOS 13 Beta 3. It's buggy to the point where even people who have an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus won't be able to update. Now this is weird because I have friends who have iPhone 6S, SEs, which are older than the iPhone 7 and are able to update to iOS 13 Beta 3. I was very surprised to see that the iPhone 7 wasn't able to update to this new beta version. I really hope that iOS 13 does not turn out to be another iOS 11 fiasco. In iOS 13 Beta 3, users are reporting that the dictation icon next to the keyboard is a lot bigger. I don't know if it's just me. It looks the same. If you guys are on iOS 13 Beta 2 and you guys are looking to update to Beta 3, tell me if this image looks any different from the dictation icon that you guys see. Once again, it looks the same to me. It might look different to you. 3D Touch is back. Well, kinda. Well, you can still use 3D Touch, but you actually have to let go at a certain point. For example, if you 3D touch on something and you get that little haptic vibration, you have to let go. It's not like in iOS 12 where you can press down hard and it'll immediately show up. If you keep on holding, it'll just go into edit mode. We've been getting rumors saying that Apple will be getting rid of 3D touch. So I guess this is just preparing us for it. Ah! Well, at least we have a piece of it. Once again, there's no hard press. You have to press, feel the tap, and let go. If you hold too long, it'll go into edit mode. This feature isn't new to iOS 13 Beta 3, i just like to talk about it in this video. In iOS 13, you'll be able to play over 100,000 radio stations using Siri. And what I like about this is that you don't need Apple Music to get this to work. You can just tell Siri to play radio station followed by the name of the radio station. As you guys can see in this demonstration here, I have play radio station power 105.1. Siri in iOS 13 will be sourcing from TuneIn Radio, Radio.com, and iHeartRadio. What I don't like about this feature is that you have to be way too specific. If I say play power 105.1, you're going to say I can't find that in your music. I actually have to specify that I want to listen to the radio station power 105.1. So I have to say play radio station power 105.1 for her to actually play a radio station that I like. So if Apple could update the comprehension skills on Siri, I'd be very happy. In the App Store, if you go ahead and click on the Arcade tab, you'll get this new view demonstrating what Arcade will be all about. Now, Arcade will basically allow you to play all sorts of games when you subscribe to the new subscription service. You can also click a button here which will allow you to be notified when Apple Arcade is released. You can't do anything. It's just a placeholder. Question before I move on. Why didn't Apple just add this to the Games tab and leave the Updates tab where it was? It was so much better. I hate having to go to the Your Accounts tab and scrolling down to update my app. Each time I open the App Store, I begin to miss iOS 12. I think that's the one feature from iOS 12 that I'm going to miss. The Updates tab being right there at the bottom. I hope Apple does add it back in the future because a lot of people go there to update their app. When you don't have background app refresh turned on in settings, you find yourself going here to update all of your applications. Having two tabs for games is stupid. If you're a voiceover user, if you go into the accessibility settings, go down to voiceover and scroll down a little more, you're going to see the setting here for show captions. This will basically display whatever voiceover is saying on the screen. It's similar to what we see on the Mac whenever we enable voiceover. Now as for the iPad, there aren't a lot of changes here. Most of the changes in iOS 13 will basically be present in iOS 13, but there is one change and I'd like to show you guys right now. In iPadOS 13, when you go ahead and check if your software is up to date, it'll no longer say iOS 13 like it did in Beta 2 and Beta 1. It'll now say iPadOS. See, Apple is really trying to get you to realize that the iPad is a distinct experience, although iOS is basically the foundation of this OS. Alright guys, those are all the changes I could find in iOS 13. If you guys watched my last video, I only discovered 
3 changes which compared to other YouTubers who review iOS 13 wasn't really that good. So I removed it. This is the updated video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know with a like or dislike. If you guys want to see more videos concerning all things Apple, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on all my new videos. I've been Tian Official. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.